Hello guys, you're breezing back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will show you how to use draft angle feature in Katia. So let's get started. So draft angle is mainly used when you have to make any profile or any shape on the part that have a back taper or any sort of taper going positive or negative angle. So let's take an example that if I have to design a part I'm just going to make any random shape. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So let's say I'm going to design something like a hockey stick. Not the best hockey stick for sure, but something similar to it. Let's say this one, right? And I'm just going to add a fillet of maybe 10 instead of 5. To have a bigger profile this i'm just going to use to show you guys that okay how would i do it i'm going to use pad of let's say 50 as a reference i just want to show you guys how drafting is going to work on this particular shape or part so here it is it's a feature based feature so we have three different options. We generally use the first and the third one because they are the one that are really required in any sketch designing or even part designing or surface as well. The so first one is draft angle, a simple draft angle. And the third one is variable draft angle or angle draft. So let's say if you want to have two different angles of taper on one side, then you will use the variable one if you want to have a consistent drafting or consistent variation of taper on both the sides then you will use simple draft angle so when i click on draft angle it's asking me to have input the angle i have to use a neutral element i will tell you what exactly that is and a pulling direction pulling direction is basically the direction where i want the taper to follow through so in this case, let's say if I want to have a back taper or a taper in such a way that I want it, want this profile, if I look from the top, so right now it's straight, I want it to look something like this. Let's say if I make a sketch here, I want the profile to look something like this, like a V shape instead of, instead of a square. I want it to look something like a V shape as I go through. All right. For that, what I can do is I'm just going to make a line here, which is going to be my pulling direction. You can use a line, you can use an axis, whatever you like. So I I know that okay, this is my direction where I want the taper to be followed through. So this is going to be my pulling direction. This is just as a reference I've used it to show that what I actually am looking for. From this profile so from the top view if i look right now this is straight because i just use pad feature nothing else so but i want it to look something like a v-shape as the profile runs through along this direction so let's say if i click on draft now i have to input an angle which i will not an issue Pulling direction, I know that I made this pulling direction for that purpose. I'm going to click on it. You can see it automatically going to choose the direction. And the arrow is going to shift towards that line. Neutral element is something that you do not want to change. So in this case, I don't want this face to be changing. I just want this whole profile to be changing or where the draft should be applied to. So neutral element is going to be this face which is going to be turned blue, which is not going to change as the name suggests neutral, which is going to stay neutral. And faces to draft is the one that you want to apply the draft to. So it's automatically going to select the entire profile that it appears that the whole drafting would be applied to. So I just clicked on it and it automatically snapped the entire profile. If I want to add draft on some other profile or any other surface as well i can select that as well but in this particular scenario i wanted this and it automatically chose the entire profile as well so if i see 
now if I have the angle as you can see right here so this is the angle it's showing up right here is it three degrees four degrees or whatever I'm going to input if I click preview you can see it's directed inwards and this is basically what I was looking for to have a V shape so let's say if I increase the angle to pi or 7, it's getting narrower and narrower. It means that I have 7 degree taper on each side. So 7 and 7 on each side. So in total, let's say if this is a straight line. So my angle has declined by 14, 7 on each side with respect to the middle or the center line. If I click OK, you can see. This was something that I was looking for, like a V shape, and that's what I got as well. So with respect to us, so let's say if this was a straight line, the pad itself, so now that I've shrunk down to a back taper form, which was something that was that I was looking for. So let's say in in some hypothetical scenario, if I want something that can have two different angles or variable angles. So I can either use the same graph and move to the variable within the same graph. And you see that it automatically snaps to two different angles. So I have seven here and seven here. So in case if I want to change one particular, one more or one less, I can do that as well. So before changing one, I have to select that, the one that I wish to change. So in this case, let's say if I change if I want to change this one, I will click on this and change it. And you will see that this will appear to be one. This is still going to be seven. If I want to change this as well, I have to single click on this and it will automatically give me an option to change the number. So if I want to keep one degree here and five degree here, if I preview it, you can see it's almost no, it's only one degree back taper here. Whereas on this side, it's going to be more. If I if I want it to be more and more, I can do that as well. More inclined towards one side and almost nothing on the other. As you can see. So, similarly, if I want to make some other changes as well, I can do that as well. So, let's say if I want to put negative angle, that might show some errors. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So there you go. You can so the draft operator cannot decide whether to add or remove matter from the initial part. So they are saying that we need to decrease the angle or basically. The rule of thumb is that if both of them are same, like if both of them are positive, then try to keep them positive. If both of them are negative, try to keep, keep them negative. So let's say I keep this as 15. It's going to be a big back taper from here, but from the other side, it's all, almost going to be nothing. 15 is too much. I'm going to go with 10. That appears more realistic. When I click OK, as you can see, from one side, the back taper have gone way too much. On the other side, it's almost nothing. So, all depend on the application that you're looking for. If you, if you want one side, to appear something like that then sure just go with a simple drop angle if you want it to be having like two different angles of variation on the back taper then choose a variable drop this i never used it personally and in like last three to four years i never used this particular feature at all so i would say that if you are just aware of the first and the third one which is simple draft angle and the variable draft angle you can solve almost 95% of any problems that you're going to encounter while designing any part. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, then do not forget to subscribe and also share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Bye.